We're out here today on uh, Miles Standish State Forest in uh, one of our burn units. Uh, about 80 acres that we're treating with prescribed fire today for, uh, for the benefits of reducing hazardous fuel conditions and restoring the Pine Barrens ecosystem. Uh, we use a number of techniques to fire burn units. Um, uh, typically here in the Northeast, we use what's called a drip torch, which is a mixture of a ratio of three to one, three parts diesel to one part gasoline. We're actually gonna be implementing a pistol, we call a varied pistol, which shoots a flare out. Um, so it takes a lot of wear and tear off of our folks on the ground. So we use fire behavior to our advantage. So we'll actually burn the fuels and you can see right behind me here where they're burning the fuels off of the, the unit boundary. Um, that takes away the fuels to burn. And then interior, um, you'll see way in the distance here that, that, that big column that's coming up, that's fuel being consumed. That fire will burn up against the black line that's already been uh, burned and actually will go out. So there's um, a couple of benefits. Um, first of all, there's always three objectives for the DCR uh, burn units. Reducing hazardous fuels in here from a wildfire and a public safety aspect. That's the number one objective here on this unit today. Then there's a huge benefit to the health of the Pine Barrens ecosystem. And so this is dominated by scrub oak and pitch pine and, and, and they're fire dependent ecosystems, meaning that the health of the ecosystem really, really depends on the existence of fire in some sort of a cycle. And then the next part is it allows for a, a live fire training platform, if you will. So today we have a couple of new DCR firefighters and we have uh, six firefighters from Plymouth Fire with, with two of their engines. And so every time they get out here um, and get a chance to, to burn with us, uh, they're learning something. We, we're building capacity again in wildfire suppression and, and techniques and uh, and it just, um, it's always a, a, a win-win for us when, when fire season hits and we're responding to wildfires.